hazard events and the effects of climate change have been hard to ignore in the Caribbean in the past few years. These events have become more frequent and intense in the region. The Caribbean Development Bank has been at the forefront of efforts to build the region's resilience to the effects of climate change for many years. The, the underlying thing is that we are in a very vulnerable region and we do need the resources to help us to build the resilience so that we can be better prepared for these natural hazard events when they do come so that we're not rebuilding because we spend a lot of resources rebuilding. In 2014, when the African, Caribbean and the Pacific or ACP group of states established the Natural Disaster Risk Management Program or NDRM with funding from the European Union, CDB became one of the first implementing partners. The NDRM is a 20 million euro initiative and is dedicated to building the Caribbean's capacity to prepare for, manage, respond to and recover from the potential impacts of natural hazards and climate change. The program funds projects to build the resilience our countries need. One such project in Jamaica is the upgraded Flood Early Warning System for the Rio Cobre watershed, which has been recently implemented in the Bogwalk St. Catherine area in an effort to reduce damage and improve safety in the communities in this flood prone area. Well, this project essentially what it does is it provides us with the ability to uh, give an early warning when the rare cobra, a very important river in Jamaica, is in a flood stage that can be, become a danger to persons who are along particular parts of the banks of this river. It passes through a gorge and the road follows almost at river level and the road crosses the river at what we call a flat bridge, which is a bridge without rails. And at times this bridge gets overtopped and then when it gets overtopped what happens is that if there are cars in the gorge trying to cross the bridge they may get washed over the bridge and washed away. So between the bridge and the lower lying areas we've had some losses of lives in the past and the idea behind this project is to mitigate against that, to not let that happen, to give especially the drivers, the commuting public, to give them a heads up that there's danger and that they should not approach. So this is one of the five um, stream gauge stations. This one was upgraded under the project. This particular stream gauge was a contact um, stream gauge, I mean contact with the water, upgraded to a non-contact because it has now a radar that actually transmits to enable us to know what the water level is. And it sends the signals via GSM to a website which we're able to, to um, retrieve. Also it does send uh, um, alarms once it reaches certain stages, uh, um, six feet, seven feet, eight feet, as the water continues to rise and that enables to make decisions whether to close the gorge or not to close the gorge. But the information here is coupled with information from in the upper section of the watershed where we have six uh, intensity rain gauge stations. Those record when there is an event that produces two inches of rainfall within one hour, then an alarm is triggered. We are the Water Resources Authority, so apart from being concerned with groundwater and general surface water for distribution and use, we are also concerned with water at flood stages. We are dependent on to tell people, for instance, what are the heights of floods, and what are the effects of floods. And so this, this will help us to, at the end of the day, to bring forward to the public more accurate information, more timely information. And it is the timeliness that is critical because this timeliness is what actually saves lives.